Master, bring stuff. Others, go to find some. We must have more of us to stop the humans. Need to find more humans then. Make them like us. Stupid fox say men will come to us one day to take green stuff. Let them come to us. We'll take them apart. Then when they weak, we put them in green stuff. Ha uh, <laughs> ha Yes! More of them mean more of us. Soon. More of us if green stuff work. It makes many mistakes. We dump bodies in cave too many times. Green stuff don't work only because men we take weak. We wait for strong men. They make good soldiers. <laughs> yes! Strong soldiers to smash the humans for good!
It can't be. Either you are quite real, or I am going quite mad. Could you actually be a pure human? Me? You care who I am? Mm, forgive me. I, I'm not used to pleasantries. I'm more used to grunts and being struck about by the others. My name's Fox. I've lived in this cage all my life. Death. Uh, I suppose it is. When my captors placed me here, they were too stupid to realize this room contained a, <laughs> a working terminal. I've spent all my life teaching myself to read and speak based on the information stored on the vault's mainframe. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Surrounded by the world's history, and yet my world consists of this tiny room. Because I'm a curiosity, an anomaly. They don't know why I'm different than they are. And I think it fascinates them. All the locked rooms in the medical wing contain failed experiments that they created. Perhaps I assume you're here to find the Gek. I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Because you can help me let me out of this place. I can't take it anymore. I can't even recall how long I've been here. Take me with you, and I'll retrieve the gack for you. The chamber in which the Gek resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Gek safely in your hands. At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? Glad to see you are a sensible person. Now, get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. It is my hope that we will speak again soon.
I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. Game's over! Okay, you stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. I know my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us.
the deck. Our bargain is complete. As promised, yeah, here's the deck. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Yes? What is it? Sorry. I'm afraid a super mutant wouldn't be welcome in the places you frequent. All I would do is cause you undue attention and you know, probably get you killed. Farewell, my friend. I suspect we may meet again. Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertebird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain she's unharmed? Yes, sir. She'll pass out shortly, but we can revive her. Excellent. Prepare her for transport immediately. Right away, sir. So, oh, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. The good guys won this one, and now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier, now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that code now, and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? I'll be honest. I'm running out of patience here, and I'm not looking to play games with you. You tell me that code, or it's going to cost you... Why do you insist on provoking me? Tell me the code now. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Ah, alone at last. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry.